Hey, welcome to my video. Um, in this video, we're going to uh, create uh, spin up a lamp stack using an Amazon EC2 instance. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, as well, in the description, I've included all the steps um, uh, for what we're about to do. As well, um, there's also um, links towards uh, tutorials on using this, doing the same lamp stack on a DigitalOcean and Linode, just to give you some options in terms of hosting. But a pers a personally, one of my favorite is a AWS, but a lot of things I, I do have hosted on um, DigitalOcean. I've had things hosted on Linode as well, so, you know, just all options. So, first thing you're going to do, as you can see, is I'm logged into my uh, AWS account. So, you're going to have to log in. There's, um, just go to console.aws.amazon.com. So, and as soon as you log in, um, You'll see under compute, there's EC2. Uh, that's what we're going to be using. This is how you um, spin up a, a node similar to, or, or drop it sim similar to, um, to come with some of the other hostings. On the left, you're going to go to instances. And as you can see, I just terminated one. Um, so I want to create a new instance by clicking launch instance. Um, it's going to be a Linux based Linux instance, so this one here. Uh, we're gonna go for the free tier eligible. Um, it's for it's it's for relatively small projects. If you want to scale, it's really easy to scale with um, AWS, and and also you know it, it, you can set up auto scaling and everything else, and it's amazing. So hit review and launch. Um, as you can see, SSH um, 20, port twenty two source there. Um, that's going to become important in a bit. But just hit launch, and so what we want to do is create a new uh, key pair. So do not put this key pair public at any time. This is a private thing. Um, but make, what makes it most important is this is the one-time download. So we're gonna call the server pair. Uh, yeah, server pair, and we're gonna download the key pair. Oh, I already have one called that. So temp two. I, I'm gonna call it temp two, and then download the key pair. Downloads my downloads folder, and then I hit launch instance. Now I can hit right here to get me in my instance, or I can go click on the left side here as well and get a list of instances. Um, so it's currently setting itself up. I'm gonna open up my terminal, so you can also look it up that way. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. I'm gonna switch over to my downloads folder because that's where my key pair my my uh, key pair file is, and I'm gonna run the following command: chmod 400 temp it's capital T. There it is, and this is gonna provide with the proper permissions. Next, my next step is I should probably wait till this. Yeah, okay. So it's all it's running currently running, so we're good to run this next step. So I'm gonna go ssh i my key pair file uh, ec2 dash user at and so this next IP uh, address is the following right here so here's my public domain so I'm pretty sure if I open this up nothing will load we'll go on forever here I have my sorry I know for a fact nothing will load because that those in that, that inbound um, is just SSH, so we can only connect via SSH. So what we're going to do here is hit enter here, as you can see, and say yes, and we're on. So first thing we're going to do is update our instance. And set up. Just gonna clear that. 
Next, we're going to install Apache Web Service Server, um, MySQL PHP as well. So let me, uh, I'm going to follow that same link I put in the description. Um, it's this one here. So here it is sudo yum, this big long line. And when we're, after this all loads, I'll, I'll show you what the actual link is. So is this. You can pause the video and type that out if you want. Or just use, go to the link in the description. Um, and then you're going to use uh, start up the Apache server. Start up the Apache server. And now we're going to set it up so it starts every single time you turn on, uh, you do a system boot. And we'll verify this. It's, we're literally going through a list of commands. You know, I, 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 you know, we verify that it matches that. So 1, 0, 1, and 6 are off, and the rest are on. 0, 1, 6 are off, and the rest are on. So now if we open up our domain here, it still won't load because we still don't have that uh, inbound link, um, inbound part of our security group. So we're gonna first create a group called www. We're gonna add our current user. We're currently the EC2 user, so we're gonna add our own user to this group. Uh, we're gonna have to quit to reset it. Just hit up again and rejoin. If you don't exit there, it won't work. I should be clear about that. Um, so we're going to type in groups here. Okay, cause so we can see it now. So what we're going to do um, is set up permissions on, so all our files are going to be stored in the var, uh, var www um, slash html. That's the same as you know the digital ocean or the Linode. I'm literally just copying and pasting these commands in. These are setting the proper permissions, as you can see. Um, and then we're run this command, which creates a file for us, an index file. And then I'm going to run the same command. But I'm... Okay, so one thing I'm going to do is I press I here, and then I'm going to say hello world. Hit escape, and then colon wq, which saves it. Um, jumping back over. Yeah, okay, so now that's all set up. Or technically, our website should all work. So if we go cat var www, it says hello world. But the issue is, even if I try to load this, it still won't work because there are security groups. So what we're going to do is on our instance here, we're going to go. Um, this is how you delete it, by the way. You go to terminate. But you know uh, networking and go change security group. So it's called launch. And for me, it's called launch wizard 5. Just remember that. I'm not going to change anything. So I'm going to scroll down to here and go to security groups. Find launch wizard 5. Scroll down on the bottom part here. And I'm going to inbound tab. And then see how there's only an SSH. Well, we want to edit that. We're going to add a new rule. And we want HTTP traffic too. And we hit save. It's going to go through port 80. Hit save. And now, if I refresh this page, I get hello world. So clearly, our our our, our um, AWS instance is all set up. Um, next, we're going to add a. In our next video, we're going to add a um, domain. We're also going to add Git, and we're also going to add. Um, an, an SSL. So watch those videos. If you like this one, please like it. If you have any questions, please comment. Sometimes Amazon has ch uh, changes around the UI. So if you have any, if there's any issues regarding that, please also comment. Uh, see you in the next video.